Hey everyone, happy Saturday. It is Connor here. I am back for a little bonus video here. I know I promised to give you guys this video either today or tomorrow on Sunday, but ended up this package arrived pretty good early this morning around 10 a.m. So um, here I am filming it today. So uh, I have all of the new Kringle candles, spring 2023 candles. I know you guys have been really exciting. I get messages all the time going, where is spring for Kringle? Um, do you know anything for 2023? Now I do, and I have all of the new scents here and the large Kringle jars. So there are six brand new scents. These are all going to be releasing on the 27th of February. Sorry, I was blinking on the month there. Um, but basically these are going to release and then also six new country candles, which by the way, I am hearing that there are going to be some major changes in this spring's country candle release. And I believe that they're going to be soy wax now. So I haven't really been told anything, but that's just what I've been hearing from other people. So, um, I don't have any of the country candles here with me. I only have the new Kringle spring ones. So um, those country candles, I will get my hands on them, of course, when I can. And I will probably purchase them when they come out and review them for you guys, of course. Um, disclaimer, these were sent to me by Kringle Candle as PR. I always let you guys know, always have, always will. Um, Whenever something is sent to me, I give my honest opinion on it. And if I don't like the scent, I'll tell you right here, I do not like the scent. If the performance isn't great, I'm not going to tell you that the performance is good. I mean, I'm going to be very up straight and honest. And that's why I really like to be a Kringle ambassador because they really let us share our own opinion and don't, um, you know, make us say great things about the product if we don't really think that there's great things. Always have constructive criticism and remember that a lot of the times Kringle reads comments on our videos. So definitely leave some good comments down there in the uh, comment box because you never know um, when Mick Kittredge is watching or when someone from the Kringle team is watching our videos. Um, so definitely leave some good comments down there. Constructive criticism as always be respectful, but um, just be aware down below in the comments. I am a Kringle Candle Ambassador, so you can use my code Connor Loves Candles to get yourself 15% off of your order. Um, if you do want to pick these up and all the country candles, of course, use the 15% off. I believe they still do free shipping on $100. Um, but yeah, that is what we are talking today. Um, Kringle was super nice and also gave me these like little cards here. These are going to be really helpful with all the uh, descriptions and notes on here. So super excited for this video and I cannot wait for you guys to get your hands on them. I hope you use this video to help you decide which ones your guys, you guys are going to want to purchase. I will be doing full post burn in depth reviews on all of these candles once I do get to burning them. I think that there are definitely some that I could probably burn now and then some that I'll probably wait on a little bit later into the season, but I'm definitely going to tell you guys how it smells. If I think that they're like a dupe of another candle, I of course will let you guys know that as well. So no further ado, let's go ahead and get into this. By the way, I will leave the scent description and notes down below in the uh, description. So definitely check that out as well as my code for 15% off and the website for Kringle Candle to shop. But I will first just go through the new candles and then I will do, you know, my in-depth sniffs. Um, by the way, I have smelled all of these, so these are not first sniffs, really. Sea Breeze is our first one here. Um, beautiful label. I am really excited about that one. If you think it couldn't get better, it just did. Mon Amour. You guys know I love the Paris vibe. I am so excited for this candle. Mon Amour. I think that's how you say it. Mon Amour. I don't know. I'm not Paris or I'm not uh, French. I am American. So uh, tea time. I know a lot of people were excited for this one because I know that um, herbal tea has been a very popular scent lately. So we'll of course compare those two in a minute. Salt water taffy here. This is another really pretty label. Kringle always does amazing with their labels. 
avocado and palm. And lastly, botanicals. So pretty there. It looks like a watercolor painting. So those are the six brand new scents that will be available on the 27th. Let's go ahead and sniff these out. Okay, first up, Sea Breeze. So I will read off my little card here that Kringle sent me. So this one says, an immersive scent featuring warm ambered sands and darkened coconut fruit swirled with a coastal complex of azure waters, salted palm, marine kelp, and sun-ripened island fruits. Your top notes are ozone and coconut, your mid notes are fruit and green, and your base notes are coconut and amber. Mm, this is actually really nice. The first thing that hits me is coconut. And if you guys know me, I'm not always huge on coconut, but I actually think that I like this one. This is very, very nice. Um, I get a lot of coconut. I get a little fruitiness in the back. It's not a super strong fruitiness because again, the coconut is really what I get mainly in here, but I do get a little tropicalness um, in the background. There is a little bit of like a ambery muskiness to this one um, in the background there, but like really the prominent note is that coconut. Um, I think my sister would really like this one. She loves coconut scents, so. Um, I do like this though. This will be a really nice one for the summer. I love the label. Like, this is so beautiful. I'm actually going to the beach the first week of March for spring break. So I might have to bring this one along and burn it there because this one is, this is very tropical and definitely makes me want to go to the beach. So that is Sea Breeze. All right, next up, let's head to Paris with Mon Amour. Okay, so I'm really excited about this one. This one says, a sweet blend of crystallized sugar and caramel strands lead into a heart of jasmine and oak moss surrounded by red amber and gilded musk. Sorry, my eyes are bad. <laughs> the top notes are caramel strands, sugar crystals, and vanilla orchid. The mid notes are star jasmine, Oak moss and crimson blooms, and your base notes are red amber, gilded musk, and sandalwood. This smells so good. I really, I thought I would love this one, and I'm like, yep, I love this. This is super, super nice. This is very sweet. It definitely, I think that this is definitely a perfume. I don't know exactly what perfume this is, a dupa, but this definitely smells like a very perfumey scent. Um... I really enjoy this though. First off, I really get like that caramel and the vanilla. It's just very sweet. It's not cloying, but it is just, it's very sweet in here. I truly enjoy this though a lot. Um, there's definitely like a floralness to this one as well. It's a very sweet floral, maybe some jasmine. Um, there's also just like that musky base to it, which again kind of leads into that perfuminess. I think that there's some amber in here, maybe some sandalwood. Um, yeah, this is very pretty though. I cannot wait to burn this one. This one is going to be very delightful. I think that this is going to be a really good like spring type of scent, um, maybe like April or May. But this is very, this is really pretty. And again, I just love this whole label. Isn't it so beautiful? I would love to go to Paris one day. Definitely a bucket list uh, trip. So that is Mon Amour. And as you guys can tell, what I'm burning in the background, I love Paris. That is springtime in Paris from Bath and Body Works. All right, next up we have Tea Time. So this looks like we are in London, maybe. So, Tea Time. Tea Time says, With tea leaves in the heart of this fragrance, first, there is the definitive impact of top notes, which are both sparkling, warm, and yet refreshing. The undertones provide a powerful and achieve both balance and power. Our top notes are clove bud and zesty orange and cardamom. Your mid notes are star anise, steeped tea leaves, and cinnamon. And then your base notes are centaur, sorry, sandalwood's, Golden honey. 
Okay, so this is not the same as herbal tea. I truly, I really liked herbal tea from last year. That was a really nice, freshly steeped tea scent. It was sweet. It was really delicious. This is different. This is definitely more of like a, this smells like a, like a fall tea. Like this is almost, it's not chai, but I get a lot of clove in here. I get cinnamon. I really get like those like fall spices, like a mold team. Um, I do get a little bit of orange in here as well. This has a little bit of like a honey, orange, cinnamon spiciness to it. Um, it's got like some muskiness to it as well. I think that there's some sandalwood in here, maybe a little bit of amber. This is actually not bad though. It's not something that I think I'm gonna love during the spring. This like, in my opinion, if I had to choose which uh, season to burn it in, I think I would prefer it to be a fall scent, but of course I will burn it during the spring. But I think that this is actually more of a fall scent just because it is super spicy. Um, I don't hate it. It's very, I think that people that loved herbal tea this one is different it's definitely not the same you're gonna have to experience it i would suggest getting it in a daylight because it's definitely not the same and i don't want you to like get upset because this is much more spicy it's got more citrusiness to it and it's kind of more of like a fall candle um so yeah that is tea time but nonetheless i still love this label <laughs> it's a very pretty label i think again i think it's london all right, so that is tea time. All right, next up, let's go to a river, saltwater taffy. This, this label is stunning. I just love the colors that they use in these labels and they truly look like they are paintings. They are, they are beautiful. So saltwater taffy. Scrumptious notes of creamy, smooth taffy layer with sweet essences of gourmet vanilla, tang tangy strawberry, luscious pink berry, and pure sugar cane, joined by a dash of sparkling sea salt. Your top notes are sugar and vanilla, your mid notes are strawberry and sea salt, and your base notes are fruit and sweet. This is delicious. This smells amazing. This is like first note that hits me is that strawberry i get that really delicious like boardwalk strawberry scent this smells like it's a nice warm summer evening it's like seven o'clock right as the sun is starting to go down um you just have that like fresh salty air i smell like a really nice like vanilla cone um there's some strawberry it almost just smells like a strawberry ice cream in a salty waffle cone. This smells delicious though. I, this is definitely, if you love gourmand scents, try out this salted caramel taffy, sorry, salt water taffy, because this is really delicious. This is kind of nostalgic in a way as well. It reminds me of just like being at the bay and like smelling that fresh oceanic air like a strawberry taffy vanilla. This is delicious. I cannot wait. I feel like this is something that I would not only enjoy like during the spring, but also in the summer. I just think that this is, this is a really nice scent. And I feel like if you would like a caramel scent, this would be really delicious with that if you like paired them. Um, yeah, this is delicious. I really like this salt water taffy. And again, beautiful label. So that is the salt water taffy. Okay, the next one, a little interesting, avocado and palm. Okay, so avocado and palm. This one says, salty sea breeze and fresh melon are joined with sun ripened avocado and dewy florals. Lush green palm leaves and aloe water are accented with nuances of beech wood. Your top notes are morning dew, rose water, and orange blossom. Your mid notes are lily of the valley, pink jasmine, and hyacinth. And then your base notes are green bamboo, lilac leaves, and meadow grass. Okay, so this is really interesting. I actually like this though, surprisingly. I did not think that I would love this one that much, but I actually do like this. 
This is very fresh. This smells so fresh. This is actually one that I think I should burn now because I feel like this is very clean, very fresh. I feel like if you wanna open up your windows and you wanna clean and just like do some spring cleaning with your windows open, this smells actually really nice. This is very dewy. It, to me, smells kind of like fresh spring morning from Bath & Body Works. They really have that like dewy, grassy almost um, type of scent. It does have a floralness to it as well. I definitely get some high scent in here. There's definitely some bamboo as well. I do pick up bamboo. Um, it's a little bit floral. It's not like lilac in my opinion. I actually think that if anything floral in here, I smell more of like a jasmine or a gardenia, but um, I do actually really like this. This has a little fruitiness to it, just a little bit with that like orange in the background. Um, but yeah, this is actually really nice. I do enjoy this a lot. As far as the avocado goes, there's not really, I don't smell an avocado in here. I don't really know what an avocado would smell like though. Um, I'm kind of surprised they didn't put any lime in here because I feel like whenever they do like these avocado scents, they always put a little bit of lime in there. But um, yeah, I don't like get any lime. I think lime would be good in here. So if you have like a lime candle, maybe burn these two um, at the same time because this actually smells pretty good. So that is the avocado and palm. All right, and last but not least, the sixth candle is botanicals. Of course, you guys know I love florals, so I was very intrigued by this one. And that label really looks like a piece of art. I mean, it's beautiful. So this one says, fragrant hyacinth and lily of the valley are enhanced with fresh morning dew, followed by green bamboo and shimmering meadow grass. Your top notes are morning dew, rose water, and orange blossom. Your mid notes are Lily of the Valley, Pink Jasmine, and Hyacinth, and your base notes are Green Bamboo, Lilac Leaves, and Meadow Grass. That's interesting. I think that these are the same notes. Are they? I think that they might be, actually. Interesting. I just noticed that I think that these Avocado and Palm has very similar notes to the, uh, to the Botanicals. Let me check. Morning Dew, Morning, yeah, these are the same notes. Very interesting. I don't know if that was a mess up on their end or if it's the same, because they're not the same scent, but my card does say that. Very interesting, I have no idea. I think that that's either an error, because these, these do not smell the same. I mean, they're similar fragrances, but they're definitely not the same notes exactly. But what I get in here, this smells to me very fresh. Um, I pick up hyacinth for sure. This is very floral, like this is straight up floral. It's not a sweet floral. This is definitely more of like, not a bitter floral, but you know what I mean? Like borderline tart floral. It's just not as sweet. I definitely get lilac in here, maybe some gardenia. Um, I like it though. This is very fresh. I think that this will be a really pretty scent during like April or May. I do really like this though. This smells like a straight up bouquet of flowers. It's very authentic as well. Like this is not a super sweet floral. This smells like you're truly smelling a bouquet of flowers. This is nice though. I do really like this. So that's the brand new six scents that it will be releasing on February 27th, which is a Monday for Kringle Candle. So um, I really hope that this video was helpful for you guys to know which ones you guys will be interested in, in purchasing. I may or may not be able to get a, a review of a few of these up quite yet. I feel like I can maybe burn the salt water, or sorry, the avocado and palm now, and maybe burn like the tea time. Maybe I'll try and get those reviews up next week um, sometime, but we will see. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. Remember to use my code Connor Loves Candles to get your 15% off on your order. And um, yeah, I will leave that down below in the description as well as the link to Shop Kringle Candle. I will put the notes for all of these candles down below down there as well. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new here. Make sure to turn on the notification bell so you guys get notifications for every time I upload and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.